it started with the heated rivalry between Boston and Montreal, where the Boston Bruins absolutely destroyed the Montreal Canadiens. They worked their way up to New Jersey to battle the Devils, but the Devil had no match for the gloriness that was the Boston Bruins. Then in their toughest battle, they faced the Pittsburgh Penguins, led by Andreas Johansson, of all people. But it wasn't enough. Mr. Johansson didn't have enough to stop the mighty Bruins, and they fell. As the Boston Bruins are now looking at their last game, and the last team that stands between them and the Stanley Cup. And that is the St. Louis Blues. The St. Louis Blues, on the other hand, beat the Los Angeles Kings to show who the true king of the Western Conference is. They took out the Avalanche. It's a good thing they were wearing their snowshoes. Ha <laughs> ha Funny. Then they went to Phoenix and worked on their tans. Now they're facing the Boston Bruins in the Stanley Cup Final. So anyways, let's look at our um, stats central real quick to see who our team leaders are. And look at that, it's Tim the Toolman Taylor with 7 points in 3 games. Who would have thought that was possible for Tim Taylor to lead the Bruins? Then you got Carter and gay-ass Jason Allison to top up the top 3. I'm 5th in the league with 5 points in 3 games. Maybe I'll go a bit biased to get myself the Consumite Trophy, who knows. So anyways, boys, let's get into it. Boston Bruins versus St. Louis. So, Blues versus the Bruins. And the Bruins are going to try to make St. Louis feel blue. <laughs> Another lame joke. Alright. Swig of water before we start. Grand Fear, dude. Oh no, Coke and McGee's and Nets. Does that mean that is Wayne Gretzky on the team in this game? I don't think he is. Can't remember what year Wayne Gretzky played for the Blues. I don't think it was '99. Randy Cortnell. All right, who else do they have on their team? Oh, flip man, that guy just got destroyed. Carter dumping the puck down the ice for no apparent reason. Grand Fear, what are you gonna do, Cokehead? What are you gonna do, Cokehead? Yeah, that's what I thought. Courtney Turgeon Campbell, Demetra, Rayo, Mion, Perlin, Gillen, McKinnis, Pronger. Why isn't Pronger playing McKinnis? Whatever. Who cares? Their team isn't that great. They dropped the puck. I'm, I'm expecting a pretty good walloping, but then again, I didn't think Pittsburgh was good either, and they st stuck it to me almost. So, Allison scores! Jason Allison scoring the first goal in the Stanley Cup Finals for the Boston Bruins. Boston goal. Gallison. Gay ass Allison. Whatever, man. It's, that's the way it's gonna be. It's gonna be like that. Jason Allison. Getting things going for the Beantown Bruins. Kyle McLaren. Big save by Cokehead. Alright. Twist, that is an awesome name. Breakaway, but he put himself offside like a twit. St <laughs> Oh, I'm just full of crappy jokes today. Okay, anyways. Catch up. Oh, Graffy with the save. But he picks up his own rebound, and Steve Hines, assisted by Taylor and Van Pimp. And it looks like it's going to be another one of those days. Because it's not all about the he said, she said bullshit. It's about the Boston Bruins not knowing how to quit, and they're going to make the St. Louis Blues leave with a fat lip. Okay, a little limb biscuit. <laughs> All right, Van. Oh shit, Van Pimp gets destroyed. Ellet. He takes the puck away. Ellet to Taylor, Super Taylor. Tim the Toolman Taylor. Tim the Toolman Taylor is gonna be the consummate winner for sure. Kokai Grand Fury made two back-to-back -back saves there to keep his team in it. Three minutes remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup Finals. The puck is dropped. Boom shakalaka. Oh, I thought I was going to hit him. Bork is cold, apparently. He hasn't got any points. Wow, why did I just let him get a breakaway on you there? All right, Bork. Time to wake up from your slump here. Ooh, Grand Fuhrer saying no. Uh. All right, Hero. How about you pick up the puck for once? Wow. Good job, Sergey. Gay Sir Samsonov. All right. 
Really can't think of a question to ask you guys this week. Wait, yeah, I got one. I don't know. When's this video going to go up? I think this video is going to go up a couple days before New Year's. So, New Year's resolutions. Do you guys have any? Do you have any plans that you're going to try to keep? There's a goal by Joel Thorne. That you're going to try to keep, which you're probably going to not do by the second week of January or the second week of 2013. Or if you don't want it, if you're not into the whole New Year's resolution thing, how about New Year's party plans? What are you guys doing for New Year's? So I'm pretty sure all you faggots are gonna get drunk, wasted, and uh, probably have sex with a bunch of random hookers. Not us straight edge people. We're too pure and awesome for that. <laughs> okay, apparently I hit the post, but it went in. So whatever, drop the mile. I'll take it. Yeah, so what I'll probably do for New Year's is uh, just hang out with some friends, play some video games, drink some pop, some crisp root beer, eat some chips, you know, have a good time, do the countdown, kiss one of my guy friends, because, you know, I'm supposed to kiss someone, and that's all I hang out with is dudes. I'm not going to kiss a guy, though. I'm very scared of homos. <laughs> not really. That's a whole other... Discussion though. Boom. Wow, that is an awful, awful goal. Pascal Rayom. Or as Americans would say it. I don't even know how. Rayumi? <laughs> That's probably how Americans would say it. I don't know. If you're American, how would you say that name? Thornton. Choking Joe. With the pass across. Oh, one timer. It's the first time I've ever done a one timer in this game. PJ Axelund is the hottest guy on my team. No homo. That's icing. Wee. Uh, oh man. The puck is uh, oh, wow man, Stevie Hines with assisted by Taylor. I had a 12 inch sub today and the whole thing of Pringles in the span of an hour. That is a man feast. Oh. It's good stuff. Speaking of man feasts. Christmas, three dinners, yeah, that's right. Three dinners, too much food. Anyways, enough talking about that holiday. Because this is the Stanley Cup final, son. And here comes Lady R, I don't even know how to say that guy's name. Hero to Samsonov. Samsonov loses the puck, gets it back. Hero gets destroyed. Hero sucks ass, man. Boom. McLaren. Carter. Super Carter. Big save, Granny Fear. Was that the first period only, or is this the third I'm going into? That was only the first. That was a long period, man. How many goals did I score? Five? I'd be very pissed if I was a St. Louis Blues fan. Five to one after the first, and Ray Bork's going to make it six. No, he's not. Uh, I just want Bork or Hero to get a couple points here. Because apparently they can't score. Polarian, boom. Conroy, Bork, Sweeney. Sweeney to Samsonov. Samsonov. Ooh, big save, Granny Fear. Yeek. Oh, fuck. What the hell happened there? Bye bye. Bye bye. They dropped the puck. Lettyard. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Grant Lettyard, or Lettyard, I guess you could say. And the Boston Bruins. Are absolutely dominating the St. Louis Blues. Like I said, they were going to make them fail blue, and they're definitely doing that because it is six to one in the Stanley Cup Final, and there is no hope for the Blues at all to come back in this game. Even if I stop playing, I could probably, I could probably like put down my controller, walk away, and come back in I don't know ten minutes, and I'd still win. But I'm not going to do that because that'd make a very boring video. Tim Taylor, oh, denied by Grant Fear. I'm going to change my guy's name. To Tim Taylor in NHL 13, just for the hell of it. <laughs> Tim Toolman Taylor, Superman. Van Pimp with an awful goal. This is by Stephen Hines. Stephen Hines, man, getting a lot of points in this game. He might creep up and take that number one spot. So, the Pittsburgh game was exciting. This game is just a blowout, and we all know who's going to win. Not going to matter. I was also going to win anyways, but big whoop. All right. Campbell, get out of my face. Robbie DeMaio with the puck. Robbie DeMaio coming up the right side. DeMaio shoots. 
Holy crap, almost scored. Grant Fuhrer apparently didn't have enough cocaine before this game started because he's playing like absolute trash. Maybe he just had some really bad coke. I don't know what coke does to you, so. I don't smoke that shit. <laughs> you don't smoke coke, you snort it, but whatever. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Christich. Courtnell. Boom. I haven't got one big hit in this game. Tom Wilson. I don't even know if that's his real name, but whatever. Grant Fuhrer bailing out his team, even though it's a little too late. Kyle McLaren trying to elbow the guy in the face. Fails miserably. McLaren up the right side. Loses the puck completely and goes offside like a twit. Almost unplugged my computer by accident. That would have been funny. No, it's winning to have. Okay, Boric dumping it in the net. Wow. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, hey, oi. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that one. That was a really bad goal. Backhand. I believe so. Let me see. Backhand before the blue line. Goes through Grant Fears' wickets. Grant Fears' five hole was as big as his nostrils right there. Jeez. All right. Sweeney to Carter. I don't know if he can make that save, but he can't make a flipping slow ass backhand from the point. At least Ray Bork got a point. That's what it's all about, right? Ray Bork coming back down the wing. Ray Bork, he shoots. No, he doesn't. He holds on to the puck. Ray Bork with a spin deke. Ray Bork shoots. Oh, no. Hero shoots. Oh, grab here the same. Blah. Anson Carter. The white Anson Carter. Bumping off people. Misses the puck completely. Don Sweeney misses the puck completely. Bork coming down on Yake. Defoe makes a huge save. Carter to Sergey. To Hero. That was a beautiful play. That was jizz worthy. There you go. Andrew Hero finally has a point. I think it's been like two games without scoring or some shit. Alright, anyways. That's the end of the second. The Boston Bruins are up, what is it, 9? 9 to 1? Yeah, 9 to 1. 28 shots to 4. That's pretty embarrassing. So the Boston Bruins are 5 minutes away from hoisting Lord Stanley over their heads once again against the St. Louis Blues. He hit the post. He hit the post. It looked like it hit the goalie, but whatever. Sweeney to Bork. Bork in Bobby Orr's domain. Bork. Oh, big save. Carter takes out Yake. Carter gets taken out. Hero coming down the wing. Hero cutting across. Shoots, he scores! Andrew Hero with that visor and plastered on face. Pretty decent goal. I'm pretty sure that's like the glitchiest goal. Pretty sure that was the glitchiest goal in NHL for the longest time. Cutting in just before the net and it would go in like 95% of the time. Can't do that anymore, but uh, remember, I'm pretty sure it probably stopped around NHL 2008. Penalty for what? I scored. What? Yeah, all right. Stupid game. DeMaio loses it. Yun going to get destroyed by Elliot. No, he's not. Just bounced off him like a twit. Going to be an LP. Uh, if I didn't press the B button, right? All right, Van Imp. Van Pimpy McGippy. Shoots, he gets denied. A minute 20 seconds left in the power play. It won't do them any good if they can't set up. Bet that better go in. Oh, that would have been the best goal. That would have been the hypest shit. All right, 10 to 1 in the Stanley Cup final. <laughs> wow. Oh. Bork trying to get a sneaky one there. Sweeney, the only man back. Sweeney trying to hit Tergeron. Dumps it down the ice. Hines stalking Fear. Hines picks up Fear's shot. Hines scores. Hat trick. Shorty for the hat trick. That's a pretty uh, impressive feat right there. And I'm pretty sure Steve Hines might have just snuck up on the leaderboards. We'll find out after. Randy Cortnell. Tergeron. Pure Tergeron misses the net completely. Sweeney on a breakaway somehow. Big save, but he gets the rebound and puts it in. This is by Raymond Bork. So, he thought the Steve Hines goal was embarrassing. Don Sweeney just scored a shorthanded goal. 
that was assisted by his other defensive partner. So the offense had no say in that play at all. That's how bad I'm being the St. Louis Blues. Beep, beep, beep. 12 to 1. This might be the highest scoring game I had. I can't remember what this, my other scores were. It's probably around the same. Oh, I'm going to yawn again. Excuse me. Spin Deeks for the loss. Play it out. Yeah, waste. No need to waste time. You're going to lose anyways. Reum. Ellett flipping and having a spaz attack behind the net. To Axelson. PJ Axelson. Yeah, human wall of shit because everything's going through him. Hit him, man. Jeez. Defoe having none of it. Tim Taylor. Tim Taylor on the breakaway. Tim Taylor slows down, cuts across, he shoots. Big save, Granny here. 20 seconds left, and the Boston Bruins will become the Stanley Cup champions of NHL 99. Axelson getting held up in front of the net. That is some bullshit. That should have been interference. Yo, fuck your couch. Anyways. Hero wins the draw, drops it to McLaren to Hero. Hero, seven seconds, five, four, three, two. Oh, he scores a goal just for the hell of it. Hat trick, Andrew Hero. Trying to put his name in the hat for the race of the Consmite Trophy winner. I think it was too little, too late, though, and I believe there's one second left in the game, so. <clears throat> and they've done it! The Boston Bruins are your 1999 Stanley Cup champions! Loving this celebration, everyone's spazzing in the middle. Look at Hero dancing on the center of the ice. Uh, Jason Allison holding the cup. Uh, it should go to Bork for some reason. I don't know why Allison's holding it. Uh, Bork? No, Allison still has it. Being a cocky little asshole, not giving it to anyone else. Typical Jason Allison bullshit right there. Give it to someone else, you flipping dickhead. <laughs> That's all good. Boston Bruins are your 1999 Stanley Cup champions. Well deserving. They outscored the competition probably like. 40 to 8. <laughs> That's just off the top of my head. I don't know. It's a pretty uh, good celebration, nonetheless, if they don't pass it around. But everyone's freaking out. You know, everyone's doing like the Gomin style dance or whatever the hell they're doing back there. You know, hey, sexy lady. That'd be pretty funny if they all started doing that. Steve Hines, Hero, and Bork, your three stars of the game. 13 to 1. And. Stanley Cup Boston Bruins Don't know why the English accent came out there Or my awful attempt at English accent I should say Alright so the past winners were Detroit two years in a row The Colorado and Jersey New York Rangers Then the shitty ass Montreal Canadiens But now it belongs to the Boston Bruins Con Smite winner uh, Tim Taylor Yeah yeah, yeah, I agree I agree Tim Taylor yeah, Tim Toolman Prince of Wales awarded to the team which advances to the Stanley Cup Finals, the Boston Bruins obviously, Clarence is the Western team, and uh, apparently they don't have any other awards, but whatever. Timmy Taylor winning the Consumite, like I said he would. Good boy. Alright guys, so that was NHL 99. If you have any suggestions for another Sports Sunday video, um, just let me know. Uh, Super Nintendo, um, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, um, I already tried FIFA, it doesn't really work very well, so I really can't do that, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, game Boy games, maybe there's a good, you know, game I'm forgetting about on there. But anyway, Sports Sunday it could be racing games too. So just give me a suggestion, and I'll see uh, if I can play it. You know, do my best to make it entertaining for you guys. So thanks for watching uh, our journey to Stanley Cup with the Boston Bruins. I appreciate all the thumbs up and all the comments and uh, all the love you guys have been giving me. So once again, I'm uh, here. They call me. I'm Elplin in the world. Catch you guys later.